All right, the, the unrated The Hangover. Really good audio quality and picture quality. Really funny movie too. Zombie Land. Ah, they could have done a little bit better with the uh, picture quality, but you know that's a good movie. Good sound, especially the open sequence. Uh, G.I. Joe. The Rise of the Cobra. Pretty good movie, yeah. And uh, audio quality is pretty good. Especially all the action towards the end. And uh, yeah, just all throughout. And uh, the audio, uh, video quality, really good in this movie. Really good. Alright, next is Star Trek. Got the 3 disc version. Really good movie, really good sound, really good audio. I didn't find a grain in there. Saw. Yeah. The same about Saw 5. I just stick with the DVD. Uh, Public Enemies. Really good. I, I enjoyed this movie. Uh, picture quality. I, you know, this movie, I guess it was set back in the 30s. Yeah, it's set back in the 30s with Donald Jr. I guess they put the film like like in the 30s it's like a little bit blurry but you know I guess they put that cause it's trying to make it like a 30s, 30s film right, uh, uh, Tropic Thunder it's got some grain in it and really good audio quality especially with all the explosions going off and stuff I got the Skynet edition Terminator 2's Judgment Day it's uh the best audio, the best uh, visual quality you, you'll get on this. So the audio quality is um, really good. Uh, District Nine. I did. Uh, I found some parts of grain, but a lot. Of, it's a lot of clear in that movie. A lot, a lot of clear. <laughs> uh, paranormal activity. Yeah. Uh, no grain there. It's scared the hell out of you though. Good all the quality. And King Kong. Now this movie right here. It's a the th three over three hour version. Really good picture and audio quality. One of the best. One of the best pictures out there on a Blu-ray. Yeah, pick that up. Uh, no Country for Old Men. Really good movie, really good, really good. Uh, especially when in the desert, if you have your TV on uh, vivid mode, it brings out the desert. 